reporter Mike Valente live for us. So Mike, what can you tell us about the ongoing investigation? So Andrew, since we last joined you, that police presence that was here in the Knoxville neighborhood has since dissipated but people who work and live in this area are still talking about what unfolded around 345 outside the Triangle Mart. Behind me, police tell us that a 51-year-old man was shot and killed outside the Triangle Mart. He was later pronounced dead at the hospital, but before he was, he, once he was shot by one bullet, a public information officer tells us, he tried running behind the back into the store, telling people in there, what happened and also apparently gave them some insight into who might be responsible for his shooting. Now, we don't know that person's name or who's been implicated and responsible for this man's death. But when we were here and police were combing through any potential evidence, there was a woman who was kind of lingering around and she wanted to talk to us about who she said uh, the, the victim was, someone that she's known from this neighborhood. She talked to us uh, lamenting the scourge of gun violence in her community. We'll hear from her right now and followed by her is a little more insight from the public information officer. You've lost other friends to gun violence? Dozens. Doesn't. It's never going to change. It's never going to change, man. That's racist, man. We can change. We can change. We just need more free stuff, man. Look how privileged you are, man. Look at all the oozing with privilege talking about we ain't never going to change. Yes, sir. You've lost other friends to gun violence? Dozens. Dozens. It's never going to change unless they do something about it. And they have cameras there and they still don't solve it. Are you able to share what he might have said? He he did say he, he knew who did it. So we'll just still have to follow up on that information. Did he give a name? He gave a name. Okay, so police yeah. might have a lead. Might have a lead. So again, you heard police there saying they might have a lead, but no information about any persons of interest or suspects. Damn. It's in police custody at this time. Reporting live in Pittsburgh. Who y'all think did that, man? Who y'all think did that? Well, the teenager accused of shooting and killing a 21-year-old University of Cincinnati student earlier this year will now be tried as an adult. 21-year-old Benjamin Addison was shot and killed back in March while trying to stop two people from just breaking into his car along Highland Avenue in Mount Auburn. WLWT News. Shot while trying to stop two people from breaking into his car. Who you think did this, guys? Lindsay Stone was in juvenile court today. She talked with Benjamin's family after the judge's decision. And what did they think about this? You know, it's difficult just being back, seeing the suspect just a few feet away from them. But they were relieved that juvenile court judge Carrie Bloom, well, there was probable cause to charge that teenager as an adult. And they said it's the next step in getting justice for their son. There is probable cause that he committed the offenses charge. Today, the teenager accused of jumping out of a car and pulling a gun on 21-year-old Benjamin Addison, learning his case will move to adult court. He's 18 now, but was 17 when he was arrested. The Savannah's video is very clear. It's honestly some of the best evidence we've ever seen in these cases. The prosecution says a neighbor's security camera captured the teen and another suspect running away. But the defense arguing it's unclear which of them fired the shots that killed Addison. The evidence here does not demonstrate who the driver was. Attorneys telling us there was a second person who was charged with murder in this case, but that charge was later dropped. So it'll be up to prosecutors to prove which of the two was the shooter. Joe Addison, Ben's father, believes the security footage shows the defendant is the person who killed his son. There's absolutely no doubt anybody can look at Wow, man. Look at that colonizer, man.
Sister, watch out, sister. Sister, you better be careful when you in that kitchen, man. When you in that kitchen, only so only saute and grill stuff. Don't boil nothing in that kitchen, man. Because this damn supremacist, man, you never know what he's going to do if he catch you boiling something. No boiled eggs, only uh only scrambled eggs, man. No spaghetti, man, only lasagna, man. <laughs> if you gonna make tea, man, make it in the microwave, man. I'm trying to tell you, sister, watch out. That's the biggest threat in America to black women, man. Boiling stuff around white men, man. You get caught boiling something around a white man, it's a wrap. I know y'all got a kid and everything, and a, a, a sun turd killed y'all kid, but still, man, be careful, sister, man. Case, but that charge was later dropped. So it'll be up to prosecutors to prove which of the two was the shooter. Joe Addison, Ben's father, believes the security footage shows the defendant is the person who killed his son. There's absolutely no doubt anybody can look at that video evidence and see that was him. Ben's mother, Yeshi, describing the difficulty of listening to detectives talk about what happened the night her son was murdered. It brings everything back as though it just happened. Yeah. I mean, you never forget it every day. Yeah. Every day we think about it. For Addison's parents, moving this case to adult court is one step closer to finding justice for their son. We love you. Yeah. We miss you. And one day we'll be back together. Mm. Attorneys revealing in court today that no gun was ever found from the scene. Today, the judge setting the teen's bond at $200,000. Give me an idea on that team, man. Give me an ID on that team, man. Anybody got an ID on that team, man? Everybody hit the like button too, man. Um... Now, breaking news from NBC4. A suspect has been arrested and charged in the death of Alexa Stakely. Stakely is the mother who was... Oh, wow, man. They finally caught somebody. Remember her? Remember her, man, from a few weeks ago, man? It was a big story, man, on, on social media, man. It went viral, man. White people was um on social media was talking about this one, man. This lovely mom that got killed, man. Carjacker jumped. She 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 messed up. She left her kid in the car to run back into the babysitter's um house. She forgot something, so she left her kid in the car for a few seconds to run back in the car. And just in that little bit of time, a son man. How, oh, well, let me not say some man. some some man jumped in her car. And took off, and then she tried to stop him, and he ran over. Charged in the death of Alexa Stakely. Stakely is the mother who was killed trying to stop a carjacking roughly two weeks ago now. NBC4's Isabel Cleary has been following this case. So, Isabel, what have we learned? Jared, Jen, actually in the last 30 minutes, Columbus police announced this arrest. They have not released any info about the suspect outside of them being a juvenile. We are reaching out to learn more, but we do know they are charged with murder. Police say they still need help identifying two other suspects. According to Columbus police, Sakely was picking up her child from the babysitters late at night when she ran back inside to grab belongings while her child slept in the running car. That's when the suspects tried to take the car. Okay, this is them right here, man. Who are these guys, man, walking through this neighborhood, man, at, 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 at late at night, man? Who are these guys, man? That's when the suspects tried to take the car. 
Stakely attempted to stop the carjacking and was killed in the process. The suspects then fled the scene. Police have released this security camera footage of the three suspects. They believe they either live in the area or have a friend in the area due to how comfortable they seemed walking around the complex. Again, Columbus police are still looking for two suspects. If you have any information, we have details on how you can submit tips anonymously on NBC. Mm. R.I.P. Miss Stakely, man. Two young men are charged with capital murder for the shooting death of a 